Okay, this challenge forces you to use Relentless Glue, I think. 8 towers max. Basically, chimp smoke till round 80. And it's basically no lead popping power. Just take a look. Nothing pops lead here except for like a uh, middle path sniper, but that's not worth it in chimps. But yeah, nothing. Technically, I don't need uh, Relentless, but I think we have to get it. I can try to be a rebel, but I might waste 5 hours. 5 hours trying to beat the challenge without, without uh, Relentless. Okay, so before I start, so let's look at some good towers for uh, 180. We got Destroyer, but no Alpha. Buff. We have Dumb Dark Knight, but that's not really good. Never miss. Not really much else. We have 0 1 2 Ice. That could help for hard rounds. Wait, no, no. I uh, can't do Druid. Only one max. Okay, one tower max. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Sub can go with D camo. So I'm gonna try with a Grip Shot. Boat into Grip Shot if this works on 6 to 7. Can I survive till Grip Shot? Yep. So, uh, if I'm not. If I'm going for Village for camo, I still need one tower before 24 for camo. What would it be? I could maybe go Crit Shooter. That's probably the best tower I can get. Or Jitsu, but Jitsu without Alk. Yuck. I might go a, a Crossbow. Crit Dart. Like, if I'm already getting a Peach rating for my glue, I might as well commit to uh, Primaries. Let me just place it here. It's probably a shit spot, but I'm trying to reserve the good spots for better towers. Sorry, Dart. So, Village really early, yep. Just because I feel like it. I'm going to go for the glue now, though. Need at least one of them for uh, 28 and 30. I am kind of curious, though, if we really need it. Because I know 59 has a lot of lead loads, but that's the only round that has a lot of leads. Technically, if we get a P mentoring, which gives a shit ton of pierce. There's a chance even just a 2 to 0 can conclude it all. But I don't know. Do I want to be a rebel and not buy Relentless? Despite what the title says? Maybe. But yeah, I, I have four towers left to drop. What would it be? What could possibly help us? Not sure, but I'll just let it go for now. 49. We have 15k. I guess that's just how good the story is. Despite, you know, no goddamn alpha. buff. It's literally just a raw destroyer on its own. 20k. I'm not even saving for it. There's no, there's no upgrade that even costs 20k. That's allowing this challenge. I could actually still go for, uh, you know, a 0 4 2. If I really want to be a rebel. Rebel against the Relentless Glue. It's definitely doable. Yeah, I can straight up afford a supply drop. I'm honestly surprised this defense solves this long. Uh, this round could be, could be it. Depending on if Glue misses, this last wave is big. Big, big, big. But we're good. Damn, 30k now. What were they thinking when they gave double grapes to double shot? I'll never know, but thanks, I guess. 35k, my god. Well, here we go. There's a lot of leads here, so if glue can't get all of it, then we either have to drop a sniper or something else. But this map is long. There should be time. It's really close, but regrows will kill me. Damn. Damn. Technically, I could get another tower to, like, stall, or beat the Srams, and then Glue could probably beat the, uh, the Leds. Should I do that, though? Okay, now that I made a, uh, a saved game, I can time machine back to it. Let's just drop random crap. So, I'll start with a Dumb Knight. And we're only down 19k, that's still a lot of money to spend on something else. Let's see. Let's see. Let me just see how this goes. Dark Knight should beat the Srams very nicely. Is that right? Well. Well. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That was close. But it worked. We got through it. 59. Oh, right. Okay, this round could be rough. Shit. On Strong, it's going to target Leads. Or rather, uh, Ceramics, not Leads. I might need to get a sniper this round. A 042. We almost beat wave one, actually. 
So let's go back. I'm gonna try and sniper. Otherwise, we may actually need... May need Relentless. Doing everything on the power not to get it. So... It would have to be a 0 for 2. Bouncing bullets take me to Promised Land. How we doing? Wave 1. Decent. Wave 2. Hmm, not sure about this, eh? It's kinda close. It's just one more wave. What could go wrong? I could ice it. But then, it might cock block on the towers. That's why I don't want to get ice. But, this works. Epic. Epic. We got the supply drop in chips. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. So, uh, six towers to remain. So yeah, again, if I had to guess what the best towers are remaining... Uh, triple guns, 013, or maybe 203, 203 for intel. Um, mob shove. I don't think Shinook is worth it. And, uh, Bio Boomer. That's my pick. But because this beats 63, this should work until 75. So let's just chill. Again, if you guys don't know, Bouncy Bullets can't pop lead, but every fourth tier sniper can pop lead. Default. May Moab. Semi auto. Or full auto, whatever. And supply. That's why I gotta spend 7k on nothing but lead bomb power. Hashtag worth. Only in cubism can you spend 8k on lead bomb power. And still do fine. 75, uh, yeah, this round could be restart. That got really far. And we're fine. 76 though is a different beast. All regrows. Hmm. We good? We are not good. Hmm. I'll get triple guns, triple guns. It's about time. Is this all we need? Come on. Please be enough. I could also employ the regal glitch, which I will try, because that didn't work. Here's the glitch uh, that I'm talking about, if you don't know. I actually just learned this like a few weeks ago, thanks to someone in chat. So basically, if you upgrade a village when it already has Grow Blocker. Any Regos in range will permanently be disabled. So let's do now. None of these blues should regrow with P-Man's Ring. The proof? That Zebra. Look. That Zebra did not turn to Rainbow. And we beat that really easily. Thanks, Grow Blocker Glitch. Now I can buy a free Sticky Glue. Awesome. And I have one more tower to drop. I might as well just buy Elite Sniper. This gives attack speed to every, every sniper in range, including itself, I think. So, I mean, why wouldn't I take an extra 33% attack speed buff? Let's see if I need it. We've gone this far without Relentless. I think we have to finish the job. Um, I might want to ice this round. Also, 79 has a lot of regrows. So that could also be a problem. Let's get... Yeah, let's just buy this right now. I have so much money. I'm waiting to spend on it. I might as well just buy this. Come on. Don't make me buy something else. Nice. Tax beats all we needed. Just a little bit more to go. I'm just gonna get actually a uh, one of these. Heart of Oak. Can't buy Lightning. I'll just buy one of these. Druid of Wrath. Because yeah, my only problem I think would be Regros. Which is what this guy helps with. But still, even then... There's a lot of regrows, and I can't do the glitch anymore. I'm capped. I would hate to lose on 979. The second last round, but yeah. We're just barely not gonna make it, are we? Yeah. Wait. Save me. Dark Knight. Dark Shift. No way this actually clutched up. Thank you, Dark Shift. Now, I gotta put it back in range for the attack speed. And I think we just won this challenge, guys, without... Without Relentless. We are Rebels. We have United. Who needs Relentless when you have Elite Sniper? Never thought I'd say that. But yeah, GG, easy. Open the floodgates. So we have a Paragon... Maybe Bug? I don't think it's a bug, but 76, 
Uh, slow balloon speed. And a lot of cash. Something tells me that it's it's a it's a Paragon explosion. But does it even work on over the wall, or would we have to do some shenanigans? Shenanigans. So like watch here. Does it damage? No. Yeah, the title. Open the floodgates, of course. Play. Oh. Okay. Let's restart. We basically have to time it. Time it. So let's see. I think I have to have it in the middle, don't I? Now? Oh, we missed a few. So you gotta time it to get every ceramic. It might be RNG because of the sentry spawning, but it might be placement. Like, if you block every place with villages, like, maybe you can guarantee it spawns in a certain spot, like this. Village, village, village. Only spawn here, please. This little corner. The darts are also probably to block, like, block space. Do not spawn here. This is a no spawn zone. Now, does this work? Play? Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, let's see. Nope. Okay, maybe I need both sides, like two sentries. NG here. One spawns down here, one spawns up. Bam, bam. Play the round. So one spawn there, good. Please spawn up. Otherwise, GG. Nope. What the hell? It overlaps. That's bullshit. Here you go. Wait, what? Oh, f, f off. Are you kidding me? Please spawn up. Yes. Wait, it didn't work. I thought that spot would have been nice. Okay, I'm gonna try here again. I'm gonna watch. Three, two, one. What? That's so. It's worse. I don't get it. We're doing it worse. Okay, one down here. Okay. Hopefully, the next one spawns up ish. Nice, it, oh, it overlapped, and it still works. I don't know why. But apparently that was the spot. I'm pretty sure we had the spot the entire time. Me, it was timing? I don't know. Either way, that was a pretty OP challenge. Basically, it's just to show ya. Uh, you can actually damage over the wall by removing the floodgates. Don't know if it's intended, but probably not. As with most things in this game, GG.